welcome to my channel triple ace rc i'm brandon and today i want to talk to you about uh, my rebuild project for my 3d printed pt17 steerman um, i bought this program from uh, 3d lab prints and uh, i'll have the link down there below in the description and uh, they have a couple other planes on there um, i got this plane a while back ago and uh I flew it a couple times flew really great um, I made some 3d printed brackets to hang it from my ceiling and it was doing good hanging up there for a little while and then all of a sudden it fell overnight one night and I woke up the next morning and it the fuselage was cracked and the bottom wing cracked in several places I, I just couldn't save it so the uh, only thing I was able to save was the top wing and the uh, uh, let's see, uh, the battery hatch, the radial motor, dummy motor, and then the landing gear. So I had to reprint off my uh, fuselage and my bottom wing and uh, the tail section. So. so here's my fuselage right here. Turned out really, really great. I printed it off of PLA Plus made by Eson. I got that off of uh, Amazon, so... I could put that link down below as well in the description. Um, it prints it off on my printer in sections. So you can see where the seam is right here, all the way throughout the fuselage. And you just glue it together with uh, CA glue and an accelerator, uh, CA medium glue. And it turned out really great. This plane flew really great, and uh, can't wait to get it back together and fly it again. The guys at my club always came up to me and just went googly eyes over because they had never seen anything like it. So here's the inside of it. It's all hollow. It's really light. Um, probably weighs about, I want to say maybe three pounds, maybe four when you have the radio and the battery in it. So what I'm going to be doing, uh, Next, after I finish off printing all my parts, is uh, once I get everything together, I'm going to cut out the holes right here in the cockpit and back here where the backrest is. And uh, you can put uh, the seats and instrument panel and the control stick that's 3D printed, so I'll, I'll be th printing those out too. And uh, then I gotta put my servos in, they go right in here. So I'll be doing a, a build video of this thing and uh, doing a paint on it. I'm going to be repainting it uh, the army color, the blue and yellow. And if you see right here, since the servo sits right here, there's little uh, tubes in here that is printed with it. Uh, and the rods will go right in there. And then I also have to cut out back here. For where the rod comes out to the elevator and uh, the rudder will come out right here I need to also cut out here and here for me to have access to my servos once the front nose is on and uh, what I've been using is a soldering iron I got from Harbor Freight I didn't need an expensive one uh, you can use any one you want but this is the one that I used it cost me 20 bucks and I didn't get the stick version I wanted the gun to have a little bit more leverage so there it is right there yeah, it's got a nice little light right there that way you can see what you're doing and also if I wanted to I could use this to solder wires together if I need to put wire extensions on so and then these are the servos I'm using they're the high tech H281 I actually just got these in the mail the other day and here is one of my bottom wings and here's the other half and we'll just glue these on together right here. When you're gluing this though, 
there's no uh, nothing to help you guide yourself to make it look all flush so just make sure you have a steady hand but here's the inside of it there's no uh, carbon rod or anything that goes in there it's all hollow but little braces all the way out through the wing so it's really strong made out of plastic and here's the other end so I need to glue my wing tip on and then here is a spot for where your servo sits for the airline and then there's a tube right in here that comes all the way up here and it comes out right here for your wires to come out of to hook up to the receiver oh and uh, these are where your wing joints will go uh, the strut joints sorry uh, to uh, put your struts on and connect the top and bottom wing together so here is my battery hatch yeah there's some weights right here I had to put because it was really tail heavy um, this was printed off in two parts right here you can see in the seam and then this piece in here was all one piece and then uh, there's a spring in here to engage the latch the spring is just out of a ballpoint pen um, and if you decide to get this program uh, it gives you instructions too and they also have pretty good build videos too but I uh, figure I'll just make my own build, build video of it and what I've done and my print settings so I'll also do my print settings in another video and here's the nose piece there's your battery compartment I haven't decided if I wanted to use my 2600 four cell battery or get a different one but I'll let you know in the build video when I get it going and then I use blind nuts that I got a multi-pack of from uh, Amazon then I use 15 minute epoxy on all of them and that turned out really good and then these are where the other strut joints will go into to connect the top wing and then the hatch will go on right like this pretty really secured and then when you need to change your battery just oh, almost drop that one <laughs> so yeah oh, and uh, these are also the blind nuts I used also for when I secure the bottom wing on. <clears throat> oh, there they are. And these are the blind nuts I used from Amazon. I might buy me another pack because they come in handy. Those up there. And here is my landing gear I saved. The tires are printed, the wheels are printed, everything on this plane is printed besides the hardware um, and there's a spring in the program that you can use if you wanted to but I didn't like it so I decided to take it out and add a couple of uh, oleo struts that I never used so I just took the springs out of those and it works really well on both of them and then there's like little pins that hold all that together and the tire detail is amazing. I was really happy how that turned out. You just use hardware from your hardware store to uh, secure the wheels in place. And then these were 3D printed in half. So you can see the seam right here. And this is the dummy radial engine that's printed. This is not printed in white. I did black and gray for the motor heads, uh, the radial cylinder, and then the exhaust. And that will just go on like this. You see where you put your screws in. And then here's one of my Aralons. And uh, on the wing, there's also slots like these. And you just use uh, plastic hinges or whatever works for you. And you don't need to buy any control horns because they're pre-printed on. 
so they won't wiggle or anything. There's the inside of that. And then over here in the corner is my top wing. This is the wing I was able to save, so I don't have to reprint this one because it's still good. And then these are those little inserts for your struts on the wings. So this was printed in white and then I painted it yellow and I didn't use any primer. You just do a light coat of paint because you don't want to add any more weight to it. And then I got my graphics from Cali Graphics. So this is what the yellow will look like. And then this is what the blue will look like. So it's going to look really good again. So that's it guys just want to do a quick intro and uh, talk about what my plans are for the for the PT-17 um, I'll be next video will be uh, on my Cura settings and my 3d printer behind me and talk about what my settings are and I'll take a video a couple of my prints of how they come out to show you guys for reference and uh, if you want to use it you can use it so thanks for joining me and if you like the channel like uh, what I'm doing I've got more projects coming so I'll continue to make some videos and any questions put them in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as I can and thanks for joining me happy flying